when people plead guilty and stuff, I look at it totally different. This person might necessarily be guilty. He's not necessarily guilty because he's pleading guilty. They, they bring the federal government, the federal government brought so much pressure like I never imagined could be brought on a, on a person before. I mean, these people, these people ripped my life apart. For many years, I mean, the, the, the retirement home had a problem with flooding in the basement because, you know, a lot of the elderly residents are disoriented and they put things um, in the toilet and try to flush it down that they shouldn't like adult diapers. That was the big example that was always um, stated to me by people in the home. And as a result, the system would back up and the sewage would flood on the, on the bottom floor. It was a type of problem that we had brought in outside contractors to fume the, through the sewage lines and all the experts to give us a permanent solution. No one could come up and really determine where the problem was or what the problem was. We had been able to contain it where it wasn't endangering anyone. We had been able to contain it but we couldn't resolve it. And so we was waiting for the contract to arrive and just controlling it until then. So I left like I normally do, and the, the, the evening staff knew uh, what to do, and existing staff knew what to continue to do. Then uh, approximately 3.45, I got a call, and um, it was from a, a law enforcement officer saying uh, they wanted me to report back to work immediately and, and asked them why. They said, well, you report back here and we, we explain to you why when you get here. What Mr. Lewis did was what the facility had been doing for years before he started working there, which is they went into an emergency plan to pump out the sewage um, into what Mr. Lewis thought was a sewer. Uh, that led into the sewage system, the same place the waste would go to from the retirement facility itself when people flushed the toilet. But um, as it turned out, to everybody's surprise, um, that sewer actually led to a uh, waterway to Rock Creek and not to the sewage system, which is uh, why um, and how Mr. Lewis was prosecuted. It was insane to me that you go to work and, 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 and from going to work, somebody's going to arrest you for doing what you get paid to do, you know, what your job requires you to do. It was two prosecutors involved. It was the district and the federal, because it's on district property, but the water went in the federal. Uh, property. The district prosecutor didn't want to prosecute the case. They made it very clear that they didn't think I was liable. They backed off. But the federal people is the one was relentless. They, they said, we're going to prosecute him regardless of what the district did. Well, they threatened him with a felony. Um, and so if he hadn't pled guilty, he would have faced a potential felony charge, um, which obviously carries much more severe consequences than a misdemeanor. The lesson that he had always taught his daughters was that not every African-American man needs to be a part of the criminal justice system. And this was one of his mantras and one of the, you know, ways in which he led his life was to, to, to model this for his daughters. And for a guy like that, who has worked so hard, who has been through so much, who it, whose, whose reputation and image was so important to him, particularly with his daughters, to see him pulled in the criminal justice system for this ridiculous charge, to see this man torn up by this process, by these allegations, um, by how uh, this was going to impact his daughters, um, was really, really gut-wrenching for me.